What's going on guys? So today I was putting together a uh, PDF download and I'm trying to find a lot of different books that you can get to help you learn English but also learn about Australian culture um, among other things like documentaries, movies. Anyway, the basic idea here for this video is that I wanted to show you how to get cheap books in Australia. So if you are a bit of a bookworm who likes to buy books online, this is the way that you can find the cheapest option for whatever book it is that you're looking for. Anyway, okay, so let's check out the screen here. First things first, I want you to type in Booko into Google, okay? You might need to make sure that Google is google.com.au, but the website we're looking for is Booko, B-O-O-K-O.com.au, okay? So you'll see it open up here. And you can literally search any kind of book that you want to get, right? So uh, one example that I was looking at was a famous book by an author called Tim Winton in Australia, and that book is called Cloud Street. So we'll do a search for that. You can see there's a few different options here that have come up with Cloud Street in them, but obviously the first one here is the one we're looking for. So click on that. Then we'll see that there's a whole different bunch of editions, right? So you can get paperback, you can get, uh, what have we got here, uh, MP3 CD, you can get the Kindle edition and the ebook, all these different options, right? So you'll obviously need to find the best option for you. The good thing is prices will be listed for new down the side here and used down the side here as well, okay? And when it was published. So if, for example, we look at, let's see if I can find, okay, Cloud Street here, paperback English, okay? Your standard paperback book. We'll click on that and you will see, and this is the part that I really like about this Booko website, you will see all of these different stores online listed in order of cheapest at the top here to most expensive at the bottom and the thing that I love about this aside from obviously showing you the best option for you from all the different websites online whether it's overseas websites whether it's in Australia is that it also shows you delivery and whether or not there's a fee and it factors that fee in to the ultimate price and on top of that it shows you availability and then total price on the side right so here you can see a books is selling Tim Winton's Cloud Street for only $14.10, 10 cents, and then it is $1.31. But even with that delivery fee, the total is still cheaper than the next best one, which is only six cents more, um, from Angus and Robertson for $15.47. So this site's awesome, okay? I really recommend using this site if you guys are looking for books. Once you've found the book that you want, once you have found a really good price, sometimes too, these prices are quite substantial. The, the top spot could be five or $10 cheaper than the next spot down. So you would click then on the website at the top there, it'll send you directly to where on that website you can get this book. You would then just click add to basket and obviously whichever website this is, you've got to fill out the information required and then you can buy it. So just a short video today, guys, that I wanted to show you for anyone on here who loves buying books. Um, I might also quickly show you that you can find some pretty obscure things on here. Okay, so I think from memory, this website was the one that I got my Portuguese grammar book through. So it's not just common novels, right? You're gonna find a whole bunch of really obscure books. So if you're looking for things like English grammar, maybe we'll type in English grammar book and see what comes up. What have we got here? Essential grammar and at use with answers. So you'll see a whole bunch of these, these things come up. English grammar workbooks for dummies. That was actually written by my dad's friend, Geraldine Woods. Um, so yeah, anyway, great website. I really recommend using this before you're thinking about getting books, whether it's from bookstores in Australia that you walk into or other sites online, I would really recommend jumping on this website and doing a search just to compare those prices because quite often you'll save a little bit of money, especially if you're going to a bookstore in Australia 
an actual bookstore, right, a physical bookstore, quite often their prices will be a little bit above what you can get here and it gets delivered to your door, right, in the mail. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Hope it was helpful for you and I would love to know from you, what was the last book that you bought online? Tell me about it in a comment below and I'll chat to you soon. See ya. Thank you.